I was really excited to give Dave this pork shoulder that I was making in the crock pot all day, but I forgot to plug it in and he told me he did not appreciate me giving him the cold shoulder. Welcome to another crock pot slash slow cooker video. This one is gonna be all about summer crock pot sandwiches. The kids are coming home from school really, really soon. They're gonna wanna eat all the things. At least that's what my kids do. They're here and they just like, mommy, I'm bored, I want a snack. Mom, I don't know what to do, I want a snack. We're gonna watch a movie, please can I have a snack? These are some items you can put into your slow cooker, cook them for a couple of hours and serve a delicious lunch. You can serve them as a dinner. You could do a picnic in your backyard, maybe. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> because some of these are good for a crowd. So if you have a bigger family or if you're gonna do a barbecue or something like that, I think these are great options. I think you're gonna like them. That's enough talking, let's get slow cooking. We're gonna make some beef crock pot fajitas and I will argue the point that fajitas are indeed a sandwich because you put them on a bread-like item as your vehicle to shove them into your face. For my sauce, I have one can of Rotel. I went with the original. If you're shy on the spice, you can go with the mild or if you're spicy, you you can get the habanero flavor. As much garlic as you prefer. I'm gonna do a big squeeze like that because I like garlic. And of course, fresh is better, but when you're in a time crunch, this just makes sense. A small bunch of chopped cilantro. It's about a quarter cup or so. Don't worry, we saved some to top it at the end. Two sliced up jalapenos. I feel like jalapenos are roulette with food, like Russian roulette with food, because some of them are not that spicy. Other ones are like, holy mother, I'm going to die. And you never really know which one you're gonna get. One teaspoon of chili powder, which is about like that-ish. And one teaspoon of ground cumin, which is about like that. And a pinch of salt. So like this. I'm gonna stir this just a little bit before I put the meat on top. I did prep some bell peppers, but we're gonna add this after it cooks for a while. So set those to the side. And I have two pounds of this stir fry meat. You can also use flank steak. You could do this with chicken as well. I just, I haven't had beef fajitas in a long time. So I thought they sounded pretty fun. Plus I have some tortillas to use up in my fridge. Stir it a, a little bit just to kind of get the meat coated a hair. And I'm gonna sprinkle the meat with a touch more salt and the lid is going to go on and you cook on low for seven to eight hours or high for four to five hours. Just a little bit more salt on top. Low, see you in eight hours. Okay, let's take a look at our fajita, beef fajitas here. It looks like everything's cooked all the way through. I don't have a ton of liquid in here. So it's a good thing it is time to add the peppers. So here they go. I have a few onions in my freezer. I think I'm gonna throw in as well. Okay, here's some onions I had. We'll put the lid back on and let this go another hour until the peppers are kind of cooked through. I'm tempted to add just a little bit of liquid just because there's so little down. I think I'm gonna add about a cup of water just to get it going. be one of the easiest sandwiches you can make. It's great for a crowd. This one feeds 12 people and we're gonna put in three pounds of your favorite ham slices. This is the one I have. You can of course go to the deli and get that one as well. Try and separate them a little bit like this. And this will only take a couple of hours. So if you wanna do maybe a summer lunch or something like that, this would be a great option for that. Kids are getting out of school soon and they're gonna be around all the time. Am I right or am I right? I don't know about your kids, but when my kids are at home, they want to eat all of the things. You can throw this into your slow cooker at breakfast and then by lunch, they can just have like hot ham sandwiches for lunch, it would be amazing. So here's all of our meat and now we will mix up our sauce that goes on top of it. My sauce is two cups of apple juice with a half a cup of brown sugar. I am not packing this down, I'm just doing a nice loose 
brown sugar, one tablespoon of your favorite mustard, a half a cup of sweet relish. You could use dill if you want to. I like them both, actually. Sweet or dill, tell me what your preference is. Haley prefers dill, I'll take any of it. One tisp of paprika. And like usual, I am not measuring that. That looks delicious. Make sure you throw it on the counter. I don't even know how that happened. It just like flung out of the thing. Get your sketchy whisk and mix that together. This goes all over our ham like this. We're gonna cook on low for four to five hours or high for two to three hours. And lunch is done. Thinking about the way that you know me. No one ever cared like you care for me. Oh, so hot. Okay, try not to steam up the camera. <laughs> Here are the hot ham sandwiches. You just want to kind of separate the meat pieces a little bit. When you build your sandwich, you get about four slices, four slices of ham per sandwich, and this can easily feed 12 people, like easily, easily. And then you can put whatever you want on the side. You can do a crudite platter. You could do fruit, chips, doesn't really matter, whatever you want. So let me show you one of these. It's all different. You got every little string on me. So fly, you got me like my, my, my. You got me like my, my, my. Who doesn't love a delicious hot roast beef sandwich? Everyone in my house loves it. Into my six quart, I think it's a six, or it could be a five. Five to six quart uh, slow cooker, whatever brand you like. I'm going to mix only three ingredients and then put my roast beast or beef on top. So here's what we have going on. Three chopped celery ribs. I cut these pretty small because my kids don't like huge chunks of celery. If you were my mom, maybe you would leave these a little bit bigger. My mom really, really likes celery, like raw in salads. I don't really jive for that, but you know, she can do what she wants. One can of cream of mushroom soup. Do you want to make bets on whether this is going to come out when I flip it? Oh, not very well. <laughs> All right, so I guess you can get a spoon to get the rest of this out. <laughs> One envelope of onion soup mix. This is kind of a standard in my house for when I do a roast. It just has a ton of really delicious flavor. Okay, that goes in like this. This is not very liquidy, so I'm gonna add about a cup of water or so. There we go. Mostly because my beef doesn't have too much fat on it today. If you're using a larger chuck or rump roast, you probably don't need to add the water at all, but I'm gonna show you what I'm using. Instead of a roast, which is what you're supposed to be using with this, I have all of these beef ranch steaks, which are essentially uh, sliced off of a chuck roast. I'm gonna use the equivalent of about three pounds of these packages and just kind of place them on top. And there, it, as you can see, is almost no fat on this at all. The fat's not going to melt off and make a lot of juice in here, which is why I added the water. If yours has a lot more fat in it, leave the water out. Like I said, I have beef pieces here, but ideally you would just have one three to four pound rump roast or so, and that would be just fine. <laughs> I just I just threw a piece of my can. Oh my gosh. So I'm just getting all of these into this juice. We're gonna put the lid on and cook on, I like to cook mine on high, honestly, for about eight hours, and then we'll shred all of this up. crock pot place your sausage links and you can use whatever Italian sausage you like a mild a sweet a spicy I prefer the spicy it's my favorite now I do have a problem here you're supposed to have 15 sausage links and my Walmart grocery pickup decided to substitute um, these for the links and that's not gonna work <laughs> 
So instead of 15 sausage links, I only have 10. So this is a little bit smaller of a serving that I meant to do. Anyway, you can sear these in a pan if you want to, but Christine does not do that because she's lazy. So I'm just dumping them in raw. Over the top of that, one jar of your favorite spaghetti sauce. I have a ton of these ragu spaghetti sauces from an Ibotta deal a while back. I, I must still have 25 of these. Dump that all over the top. You can absolutely use a more expensive one. You can use the Rayo's one since that one's so delicious. Whatever you want. Two sliced bell peppers of whatever color and flavor you prefer. Red would be delicious also. A half a cup of water and I'm just kind of swirling my water in here so I can get all that extra sauce out so we don't waste anything. There we go. A little drizzle of Italian seasoning. This is probably a tablespoon, perhaps. And as much grated Romano as you can stand. This is, I think, a very stinky cheese, so I don't have very much here. It's probably a quarter cup. Lid on and cook on low for four to five hours until your sausage is done, and then we'll make some sandwiches. like Joey from Friends, my favorite food is sandwiches. <laughs> I think I could eat sandwiches every day and just be perfectly happy. The recipes for this video are gonna be down below in the doobly-doo. You have to try the hot ham sandwiches, oh my gosh. And Haley would not stop raving about the Italian sausage sandwiches, like would not stop. And then shredded beef sandwiches. There's nothing even really else to say, but um, yum, delicious. Please, I like sandwiches because it's easy, it's stress-free, and then you can put whatever side with it that you want. You could do chips, you could do fries, you could do fruit, you could do vegetables, it does not matter. Ooh, ooh, a pickle. You should definitely do a pickle on the side. I love pickles, all of them. Sweet, sour, spicy, dill, all of the pickles, I like them all. I'm so glad you decided to hang out with me today. Don't worry, I do have more slow cooker videos coming up. I'm having a really good time with this slow cooker series. If you wanna see the previous videos that I have done about this topic, I will leave that whole playlist down below for you to check out whenever it's convenient for you. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the next one.